everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'm going to cover five tips to grow lots of squash. If you follow these five tips, you'll be able to grow a lot of squash like this. Check this out. This is yellow crookneck squash and we've been munching on this and this is really good. Tastes like butter. Now the very first thing you want to do to grow squash is start from seed. Now you can buy squash plants, however, squash plants cost a lot more than starting your own seeds. And squash is one of those plants that you can grow very easily. If you sow 10 seeds, you might be able to grow all 10, if not at least 9 seeds out of, out of those 10 seeds. So you can easily start squash from seed. So don't buy any plants, you know, don't waste your money. Just start your squash from seed in February or March. That way you will have your plants ready to plant in April when the weather is good. Now this leads to tip number two. Plant squash out in your garden when all the danger of frost has passed. Now this might vary depending on the region you're from. So in northern states might be later in the year. Well, if you're in California, Florida or states that have mild winters, it might be earlier in spring. So check your temperatures, check the zone that you're in and plant squash in your garden after the frost of danger has passed. I started these squash plants in February, just planted the seeds and it takes us about three to four days for the seeds to start germinating. And I kept the seeds indoor for about a month. So by end of March and beginning of April, the seedlings were ready to transplant. So I transplanted them out in our garden in front of our house and guess what? They are producing a lot of squash. Number three, Squash plants grow really big, so make sure you give them enough space and enough sunlight. They need at least six hours of direct sunlight, so plant squash in an area that receives full sun. And plant spacing for squash should be at least three feet apart. I'm growing squash varieties here. I have yellow crookneck squash, I have uh, black beauty zucchini growing here, and all of these plants are spaced at least three feet apart. I have some plants that are even spaced four to five feet apart because I want those plants to become huge and produce lots of squash. This is how far apart my squash plants are. They're about four to five feet apart. And I wanted them this far apart because these squash plants are going to go really big and they're going to compete with each other for the resources, especially sunlight. So if they're really crowded, they're not going to get enough sunlight. So there's quite a bit of space for them to grow still. And by the end of the summer, they're going to fill in that space. Now if you live in an apartment or in a small house without a backyard, you can also grow squash plants in containers as well. So get a good size container, at least five gallons, and you can grow squash plants in containers on your balcony or in the side of your house. Number four, fertilizing. Now squash is one of those vegetables that do not need a lot of fertilizers. So if you just add compost, if you have well-drained soil, you can just plant squash without any fertilizer. You don't even add, need to add any chicken manure or cow manure or anything. Just plain old compost, mixing it in the ground, and plant your squash plants in that ground and it will grow just fine. If you over fertilize squash plants, the plants will become really big, but they will produce less squash. So save your money, there's no need to fertilize squash plants. Just plain old compost will do the job. Number five, moisture. Now squash plants need constant moisture. Do not over flood your squash plants and do not let the squash plants dry out either. So constant moisture is what squash plants really like. So provide them with water, little bit of trickle drip irrigation every day or every other day depending on your soil and keep your soil moist and you'll grow a lot of squash. Now let's go harvest these squash and one more trip. When you're harvesting squash, make sure you harvest them when they're small because when they become big, they become very, very hard to chew on and they become very rigid. So if you harvest them when they're about four to five inches long, like this one, they are really juicy and if you bake them, they taste like butter. Well, look at this one. So that's the easy way to harvest them. Just twist it and they just come right in your hand. And, and like I said, you don't need any pruning shears or anything. Just twist the squash like this and they come right in your hand. So when you're harvesting squash, make sure you don't touch the stem of the squash plants because they're prickly. They're like little thorns on them. So either wear gloves or be very careful. So I'm going to reach in there and grab a squash. And here's another one. Well, check it out. Some really nice squash. Another tip, squash flowers are also edible and squash plants produce a lot of squash. So 
We have been picking about eight to 10 pounds of squash every single day and we just have 10 plants. That's how much squash they are producing. So if you don't want a lot of squash, you can always harvest the squash flowers and you can even fry them or cook them or add them to your salads. And check that out. The squashes just keep coming in. So here's my neighbor's dog. He always comes and visits me. <laughs> So here's some zucchini that we are growing. So this zucchini is actually too small to be harvested right now. So give it about another day, maybe one day or two days and this will become bigger. However, this one is right about the size that I like to harvest. So twist it and there you go. You can let it grow a little bit bigger as well, maybe this big, but I like to harvest them a little bit smaller because the smaller they are, the tastier they are. Here's another zucchini that's ready to be harvested. So twist it and here it is. So here's the harvest for today. This is how much squash we got from 10 plants. That's about 10 pounds of squash. And we've been picking this much every single day. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.